Hi, welcome to Glow Up with Shelly. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to do a really quick, super sexy date night eyeshadow look. I think you'll really enjoy this. It is a brown, it's something different than what I've done in my previous videos. So let's get this party started. <laughs> Remember, this channel is all about glowing up, transformative skincare, flawless makeup, and a lifestyle to match. If that resonates with you, hit subscribe. Don't forget to ring the notification bell. Smash that like button. I want you to know when I post future videos. Okay. So today I'm going to be using my Makeup by Mario um, Ethereal Eyes Palette. You could use any palette that has some, uh, some kind of a shimmer shade because you want some kind of shimmer shade and a really nice dark, darker chocolate brown. So I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do this. We're gonna use this lighter brown, we're gonna use this darker brown, and we're gonna use a little bit of um, the pink and we're gonna use some of this really pretty shimmer shade, but you can use any palette. You could use a Tarte palette, any palette that has a couple of browns, a darker brown that's more of a chocolatey color and a little bit of a lighter shade of brown that complements. so in the same family, whether that's warm or cool. These are both warm browns. Okay, I suggest warm browns for this look. Okay, if you wanna know whether or not a color is cool or warm, it kinda depends on the hue that it gives off. This palette has a lot of warm colors in it, not any cool colors. I wish I had another palette so I could show you the difference between a cool and a warm. Just know that the warm's gonna give a more like honey golden texture, whereas the cool is gonna give off more of a gray shadow. I hope that makes sense. So as you can see, these are warm brown colors. So let's get started. Let's go ahead and put this pink shade on first as our transition shade that's gonna be right in the crease of our eyes. I'm gonna use one of my big fluffy brushes to do that. So I've already put on my eyeshadow primer. I've used the Fenty Beauty Primer Pro Filter uh, Primer. I'm not a huge fan of this primer. I picked it up at Ulta because a lot of people said it worked good with um, mature skin. I don't find that necessarily to be the case. Unfortunately, as you get older and I am 46, your eyes start to, your skin on your eyes can get a tad bit loose, especially if you have hooded eyes and mine have. I'm moving so you can kind of see how my skin on my eye is a little bit looser. So you'll want a really good primer. I love the Urban Decay primer, but I'm I'm giving this one a review, a try with several different eyeshadows, just kind of see what it's like. Again, not my, not my favorite, but we're gonna go with it today. Okay, so let's put that dusty, pink color on right here. Let's put a little bit on our eyeshadow brush and we're just going to fill that crease. And this is a big fluffy brush, so we're gonna get a lot of shadow around. This is a super fast eyeshadow smoky eye look and honestly, you're really just gonna kind of put the shadow everywhere because as you'll see when we get closer to finishing the look, it's gonna give us you're, it, it, this is a very forgiving look because really it's about putting the eyeshadow kind of all over the eye. Okay, so we've got our transition color on and we've got just some color, some pretty pink in the crease just to give it some warmth and some depth. We can put it a little bit up into like the middle part of our brow bone. Okay, so that's on, that's really pretty. Next, we're gonna go in. Um, you'll need a, a gel eyeliner in black, okay? I'm using Tarte uh, Sex Kitten. This is one of my favorites. Another favorite of mine is the Stilla Stay All Day Smudge Proof. This one is awesome, it doesn't really go anywhere, but we are going to start with Sex Kitten and we're gonna line, we're gonna do a tight line on the waterline of our bottom and our top eyes. So we're gonna tight line that bottom waterline. Okay, so we have the tight line on the bottom done. And then for the top, I'm gonna go ahead and use the Stella just because it's so waterproof that it won't smudge everywhere. 
and my top lines tend to smudge like crazy. So I'm just kind of run, running that gel eyeliner around my waterline. This always makes me tear up like crazy. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we are gonna go in with that lighter warm brown color. And I'm gonna pick up a new like flatter fluffy brush because this is gonna go kind of all over our eyes. We're just gonna be filling that in with that nice brown color to give it some structure. We're gonna go in with an even darker brown, but this just will give it some depth. The great thing about this eyeshadow tutorial, this eyeshadow look, is it's super easy to recreate. So this is not something that you can't do. And honestly, you could probably do it in five minutes if you didn't take as much time as I do at everything. I'm always so super careful and I realize like it's sometimes hard for me to make these videos short. I tend to make my tutorials a little bit longer. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Okay, so we have that, and you can kind of see what that looks like. It does not look good right now. So let's go in with a little bit more compacted brush. These are great, but they're way bendy. This is a little bit more compact. It doesn't bend as much. It has more structure to the brush and so it's gonna be firmer and it's gonna pack on that color a little bit more, which is what we want. So now we're gonna go in with that really dark, warm brown. But you look at it, it's chocolate, okay? It's like a chocolate brown. So this is not a super, super dark brown. It's not a cool brown. It's more of a chocolate warm brown. And you don't have to use the Makeup by Mario um, palette. You can use any chocolate brown that you have. The Tarte Maneater palette has a nice chocolate brown, the small one. That would work just as well. And Too Faced uh, Natural Nudes has a nice chocolate brown that will work as well too. I believe it's called Coco. So you could use just about any palette. ColourPop has a nice um, neutral palette that also contains a couple of really beautiful chocolate browns. And Morphe, you could get a ginormous palette with just neutral browns in it. So there are other options. You do not have to use the Ethereal Eyes palette. But literally that's what you're gonna do. You're gonna literally, you're just gonna put it on your lid. And we're just gonna make sure that it's on all of the lid, all over that lid. And we're just going up to that transition line, that inner crease right there. And we're just packing the color on like so. Now this is a very dramatic, like date night smoky eyed look. This definitely isn't something like you'd wear to work or even to hang out during the day. It's This is more of like a drama mama kind of look, you know. Okay, so we've got that chocolate brown all over our lid and it's really dark. So now we're gonna go in with this like tiny, tiny tongue face brush that's got a nice little end on it, but it's not too, it's not too flat, but it's not too thick. And we're gonna take that brown, that lighter brown And we're just gonna smudge under the eyes.
till we get like a little nice shape and structure in it. And then we're gonna take that really deep chocolate brown and we're just gonna kind of work it under that lower lash line. I mean, look at how fast that is and it already looks pretty. And depending on your eye shape, you could take it down further, you could take it down, you know, not near as much. Okay, so we have that on and we're gonna go back into the corners and just make sure that we've got enough product in that corner to give that nice little kind of smoky eyed, swept up look once we start blending this out. So there you have the structure of the eyes. Um, and now we're gonna go back in with our black pencil and we're just going to kind of go back over those um, tight lines. Okay, so that is done and now we are going to kind of finish up the eyes and I'll show you what this looks like. So now we're just gonna go in and kind of buff everything out. This is a clean brush, it's a fluffy brush. This is one of my cheaper like Amazon brushes. Maybe I got this at Target actually. And we're just gonna buff out those eyes and just give them a little Okay, so we've kind of pulled that up into the brow bone. And then we're gonna go back in. I love this color. It's like one of my favorite shimmer colors. And we're just gonna go, it's a shimmer topper. We're just gonna put a little on our finger and we're just gonna go in and we're gonna kind of give some sparkle to just the lid. So we're gonna go up to where we would normally only do sparkle, like up to the end. That's what we're gonna do with this. And so this gives it just a nice, beautiful shimmer effect. I'm gonna do the same on the other side. And you could use any sparkle you could probably use like a gold sparkle. Um, you could use like a chocolate brown eyeshadow that has a little bit of a sparkle to it as well. And that would work um, just as nicely. Okay. So there you have it. I'm gonna show you what the finished look looks like when I put my powder on. 
I am wearing, the foundation that I'm wearing today is the Infallible L'Oreal, so it's a super cheap foundation. And then I have my Tarte Creamy Ultra Creamy Concealer. I'm wearing my Cool Bronze uh, Tarte Shape Sculpt Tape Contour with my Soft Bronze on over it. And then I'm wearing Charlotte Tilbury's Blush, one of my favorites, the color Pillow Talk. And I am using the Spotlight Beauty Highlighter Wand by Charlotte Tilbury as well. So that's what I've used on my face. And I am gonna go finish this look and I am going to put on my lipstick and we'll see what this looks like. So I have finished the look. I put on some little flick eyelashes. These are Jubilee by Kiss, so they're super cheap. I think they're like $11.99 or $15.99 for a pack of five. And I also put a little bit of sparkle on the inner corner, but everything else uh, we did together. I did do lipstick. So let me show you the lipstick I used because it's super cheap. I just absolutely have fallen in love with these e.l.f. lipstick. So this is the e.l.f. lipstick that I used and the color is Dirty Talk and it's kind of this pinky nude color. And I use that by very well-worn NYX lip pencil in tiramisu. This is one of my favorite colors. Um, it's just this kind of nude, like a nude pink color. It's really pretty and I paired it with the e.l.f. and I think it just looks really nice on my lips. So there you have it. Here is the finished look. It was super fast, easy to do. Like I said, you don't need the Makeup by Mario Ethereal Eyes. You could do this with any brown, two brown colors that are warm. So you want like a chocolate brown and a little bit lighter than chocolate brown, but you want both of those to be warm and then you want some kind of shimmer shade. And there you have it, that's all it is. It was super fast eyeshadow, smoky eyed look that you can wear to dinner and do in about five minutes. So hopefully you enjoyed this. Get ready with me and I will see you next time on Globe with Shelly.